finally made it through so many COVID-19 challenges. Uh, looking beyond that, I think there's a lot of other challenges our industry have faced, which is um, other natural disasters around floods, drought, um, and I think what uh, has been a common theme over this is the resilience that our big community has shown and it's really incredible to get to this point tonight to bring 250 of you together to celebrate not only uh, Angus B but the next generation that's coming through. So it's my privilege and my honour uh, that on behalf of my organising committee that I stand up here today and, every, and welcome everyone to our 2022 and they do Angus Roundup dinner. Just on behalf of NHP, we're very grateful to uh, sponsor an event like this. Um, I think it's I think it's a great event. I've only been here for a couple of days, but um, just to just to have a look around and I see all these young ones that are sort of really getting involved. Like it, it makes me um, quite happy. You know, like it's a it's a really good place we're in the industry at the moment. Um, and Angus are doing a great job, Angus Australia, and and putting on this event, you know, it takes a fair bit of effort over the last couple of years to get things happening. So we, we appreciate that we can be involved. We appreciate that we can be a sponsor. We, uh, we will get underway with lot number one. And as you all know, it is going to the youth. So please do dig deep into your pockets and uh, support the uh, youth on their, uh, on their youth auction so they can run a, a better and bigger show in 2023. 600, G'day everyone, it's Annie Pumper, Chair of the Angus Roundup Organising Committee. We've just rolled in on our final day here at Wodonga Showgrounds. We've come away from our dinner last night. We're very excitingly, we're proud to announce we raised over $25,000 that's going to go directly back into the youth program. <laughs>